about where they came from and how we can try to control them. We're in the heart of summer and the one thing on your mind is getting in the water and cooling off. But there's a few things you want to keep in mind before you bring your family to the beach. Piles of dead alewives, tiny silvery fish are lining the beaches of Lake Michigan, rolling in wave by wave. It's a common occurrence this time of year in late spring and early summer. It's just a little delayed from the colder spring that we endured. They're coming in a bit challenged and when they come in to, to spawn, um, we do see some die offs and we, we have been seeing this more or less ever since they invaded, you know, Lake Michigan and the Great Lakes. Yep, you heard that right. They are actually native to the Atlantic Ocean. A member of the herring family, they are an invasive saltwater fish that entered the Great Lakes through the St. Lawrence Seaway and Welland Canal and swam their way into Lake Michigan in 1949. This year, the reports and the piles keep growing and it's a little bit more than the years past. Hitting historical highs upon invasion, the flashback of massive fish piles flare up for some local beachgoers. Our wind rose and fish were feet deep on the beach, so now we see a little uptick. Certainly people are, are more, uh, more aware of that. The only native fish, the lake trout, eats the same plankton as alewives. So how do biologists go about fixing something like this? Well, by adding a predator, of course. One that loves to snack on alewives, the non-native salmon was introduced in 1966. The salmon are hitting them from the top down and squeezing it. So right now we have what we consider just a little bit of a bump now over the last five years or so in the alewife population. Um, and that's where, again, back to where we started, where people are starting to see more of these fish die-offs. It's up to whoever owns the property to clean up these beaches of these fish. Otherwise, as we go through the rest of the summer, the water is looking clearer, less fish are washing up, and we're on the decline. Reporting in Sturgeon Bay, I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot, NBC 26.